so chapter 8 part f question number 43rd in the case of a proprietorship which one of the following accounts represent the link between the income statement and balance sheet so highlight the word link and then you can highlight the word income so there will be one question about the income statement and uh, so what's the link between the income statement and balance sheet so balance sheet we have done already right so the income statement so income if you go to the question number 15 first right question number 15 right it says statement of profit and loss measures right so profit and loss measures so what does it measure is number two it measures revenue and expenses for a certain period of a time so so revenue mean income income and expense for a certain period of a year so highlight number two but then you can also go to the question number 10 question number 10 so you go back it says the statement Kevin A. Holmes proprietor for the year ending December 31st 2000 so basically rental income was how much 14,600 then it expenses minus interest minus repairs 1295 minus property taxes minus depreciation so so 10,930 total so what was the uh, profit they had 36 uh, 70 so there's the income that's the net income so basically so what do we call this statement we call this statement income and uh, expense statement or we call it profit and a uh, loss statement if you go to the next page answer number third is called sta statement of profit and a uh, loss so basically when we so you can write on statement of profit and a loss right statement of profit and a loss so when we do a business either we have profit or we have a loss right in so basically then we uh, do you have question number 11 yes. yes so the amount of 3670 on Kevin's statement is so what is that is a known as net income that's true so you can highlight is equal to taxable income plus capital cost allowance minus deficit highlight that too that's also true I'll explain you later third the, the difference between revenue and expenses so that's also true right revenue was 14,700 right and then minus expenses right so that's true so it's all of the above so number four then 12 the blended mortgage payment made by Kevin home during the year were Highlight blended. Blended means interest plus principal. So when we pay the mortgage payment, and most of the time it's a blended payment. If we are paying $1,500 a month payment, right? Out of that, $1,300 we pay for the interest. $200 goes towards the principal. Blended means combination of interest and a principal. If we get a mortgage for a $300,000, we are paying $2,000 a month payment. And out of $2,000, normally we have $1,800 interest we are paying. Principal is only $200. So after five years, we just only, you know, $10,000, $15,000 at principal goes down, basically. So the value of this property goes up. That's why we make money. Otherwise, you don't pay much. Okay? So it's uh, number four. Impossible to determine from the financial statement. Because principal was not given there. Only the interest paid was given there, right? When we read the statement. Right? So principal was not mentioned there in that statement. If you look back. So it's number four. And then we go to the question number, uh, same back. We were on uh, 43rd, right? And uh, so what is the so link between the income statement and balance sheet? Mr. Number? 43rd so what is the link between link is a net income it's number one net income so whatever income we earn we report on the balance sheet right yeah. so if we have a loss so we report on the balance sheet so it reduce our equity if we have profit it increase our equity 
so the net income is the link between the income statement and a balance sheet and this is very important and then from there we go to the last question of this one is 58 and 58 according to the balance sheet equation which one of the following statement is false and false number one the total of firm's liabilities and owner's equity cannot exceed its total assets is that right yeah. total of firm the liability and owner's equity cannot exceed total assets that's true, yeah, that's true. because if you add Four. your mortgage plus your equity it will not right then the as total assets Basically, you remember I told you before, if I own this gas station, gas station is worth $3 million and $2.9 million is the mortgage, equity is how much? $100,000. If you add together, it will never be more than $3 million, right? It will always be equal to $3 million. So that's true. <coughs> and the number two, owner's equity cannot exceed current and non-current liabilities. Cannot, not makes it wrong note makes it a uh, wrong if i owe to the gas station you know for the gas station 2.9 million today but if i keep paying every year right one day the time is going to come when my net worth will be more than the the liabilities <coughs> you understand so after paying so many years so the liability can in right can exceed so note makes it a uh, wrong here Okay, so circle not. Third, asset minus liability equal owner's equity. That's true, right? You want to know your uh, uh, okat. What do you do? Asset minus uh, uh, the liabilities. So that's true. Fourth, the, the the total asset of a company must be equal to its sources of uh, capital from from where the money is coming. Right. So basically. So, the, so, so, which is false? Number two. two. Yes. And uh, so that was, you know, that was this for this part. 58 is done, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs>